Okay, so we've ultrasonically cleaned everything we can. I've put two calves back together, but I've left the floats off. I'm going to do the other two calves, put them together, again leaving the floats off for now because I want to check them before I put the float balls on. Um, probably just get on with that and show you a little bit more detail when I'm putting them back on the rack. Right, so that's them back together. So the next thing is to put them back into their pairs, joined by the fuel line, put them back onto the bracket, put the floats on and check the float heights.
well, looking at these, it looks like the flow tights are a little bit random, which is obviously an issue. I've looked it up and the float height should be 26 millimetres. Helpfully, it doesn't tell you exactly 26 millimetres where from. I'm going to measure it from the base where the gasket would sit. If it turns out to be wrong, then it just means it'll be a bit on the lean side and I'll know that I can adjust it again. Now, I've set 26 millimetres on this vernier caliper and this one appears to be about right. And you're never gonna, you're gonna chase, you know, your tail. That is as right as I'm expecting them to be. So what I'll have to do now is take some of the floats off, bend the little tang, put them back, measure them, and try and get them so they're all about the same height as this. It'll give even running, even if it's not completely flat on. So let's crack on with that. So, I'm pretty happy with that. They're all at 26 mil to the gasket face. The next thing I'm going to do is pop all of the float bowls back on using a new gasket for each one of them. And then they're ready to go back on the bike. Can't wait. Right, well that's the carbs back together. The observant amongst you will notice I've done nothing with the slides. However, in the uh, one of the previous videos you'll see when I took the caps off, the slides actually look immaculate and so do the uh, needle valves. So I'm pretty sure that they're going to be okay. Um, thanks very much for watching. Next time I'll be getting these back onto the bike and then I'll be looking at the uh, electrics. Um, as you, you might remember from one of the earlier videos, that all we could see was an old warning light. Not sure if we're going to get a spark or not yet, but we will do by the time we've finished. Thank you.